Hello today. Haven't done a talking on the camera for a while now. I think the beginning of the month. I think. Um, reason why, and also I haven't been doing many game reviews. Also, <coughs> because of that, I've still got a cough. It's getting better. It's not as work. It's not as bad as what it used to be, but it's still lingering. Um, so I've just been giving it a rest for a little while, but. Hopefully I will be getting back to gaming reviews and um, talking on the camera as well as and that's other things I want to do. But we won't talk about that. Let's get onto the subject in and which I'm going to talk about is television. Not TV programs. I'm just going to be talking about television, my memories of the television. As I say, the television as a television set. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, to me, it was it. My memories, where I can go back, will be the 80s. The television set was just a um, a box. That's why it was nicknamed the box. It was basically a wooden box with a screen in it and a speaker on the side with your channels. <laughs> in our case, it was a four-channel television. But that didn't matter. It had four channels. Because when I remember telly, we only had three channels before 1982, that is. Um, but yeah, I, I was quite young when I remember Channel 4. But it wasn't a channel that really got watched. But we had our Betamax video recorder at the bottom of it. So that could have, I think it was eight programmable, <coughs> excuse me, eight program programmable channels. So I think the video had channel 4 but the fourth channel was tuned into the tele uh, to the video um, yeah remember the, t the days when we only had analog television no digital analog and you had to tune it in manually TV I think <coughs> excuse me TV's up towards the 90s when they had a digital tuner not unlike what we know it now, when it just automatically tunes in the channels for you. We had a digital tune, but you had to select like one, channel one was for BBC One, channel two for BBC Two, channel three for ITV, and channel four for obviously channel four. And in the 90s, we all got four and a half channels. I mean, you can't really class channel five as a channel could you you couldn't even see the fucking thing so that's why it was only four and a half you can hear it but you couldn't fucking see it maybe that was a good thing because it was so much crap on that channel anyway <laughs> <coughs> yeah going back to can't, when you got a tv or a video recorder for the day come with a little plastic screwdriver thing where you had to manually tune it in yourself each channel but as I said, there was only four channels, so including the video channel, you had to tune in manually. How are the days? As I say, the night is it, you had digital tuners. You had to tune it in. Well, you didn't have to do all the screwdrivers, so it tuned it in, but you had to tune, find channel one or BBC one because it would scan the first thing it come to. Then if it weren't BBC One, you just keep scanning until you found BBC One. You do that for channel BBC Two, Channel Two, Channel Three, Channel Four. When we only had four channels, as I said, I'm not including Channel Five. It's crap. Remember Channel Five when it was ridiculous. It, there was mere people going around retuning your video recorder for you because they you couldn't get Channel Five otherwise. Fucking good. <laughs> And a few years, I think it was a couple of years later, it was on Sky Digital or Digital TV. What was the fucking point of all that nonsense? You know, you couldn't see the fucking thing properly. Why don't you just wait till fucking Digital Town out? As I said, Channel 5 was absolutely still, is, that, is it still here? Have we still got Channel 5? I don't even bother with it. Um, I don't watch a lot of telly anyway because it's all crap. Um, yeah, back as I say, I'm not going to talk about programs, but it's a it's a question for you. Would you rather have four channels where there was always something decent on telly? Uh, after millions of channels we got now with absolutely fuck all on. 
strange, but I think I'd rather go back to them four channels. Um, knowing that it was always something decent on TV. Obviously, political correctness now, you can't get away with shit. That's the problem with TV. It's political correctness has killed it. But as I say, I'm not talking about TV programmes here. <coughs> But yeah, remember the digital, not not the digital, the analog tuning in. That was, well, no, you didn't have to keep doing that. Only if you bought a new TV set. But back in the day, we couldn't afford a new TV set, so we had to buy a second hand. And they're usually tuned in anyway. So it's just a video recorder part. I remember just tuning in when they, when I first, my parents bought me my first portable television set. Yeah, I had to tune all that in. <laughs> Yeah, as I say, it all went digital, analog, digitally tuning analog in, made it a little bit better, but then digital TV come in. When that come in, well, didn't have to do anything. Just set it up and bang, there you go. But this is, comes to my new my point now. Smart tellies. I would not want to buy a smart telly. I've got a telly, what I've got in this room, it's nearly near coming up to 10 years old, it's an HD telly, um, no, obviously 10 years ago there weren't a smart telly, which I think is good, because I'm going to keep that telly until it breaks, there's nothing wrong with it, it's HD, 1080p, it's good enough, I can watch whatever I want, um, but the good thing is, we've got a smart TV downstairs in the living room, um, I remember the first day it, we got it, um, what was the first thing you had to do, what, for the first thing it did when you set it all up, which was a bastard, you got to put all these USB things in, you know, so it can sensors and all this shit, fucking hell, it's a TV set, first thing it fucking did when you switched it on, when you turn it on, Android, all this old bollocks come up, but fucking all these menus, do you want to do this, do you want to do this, and then it fucking says update required. It's a fucking television set, for fuck's sake. Update, you... I want to watch telly on the fucking thing. On this update, it's a telly. fuck's sake, it's a television set, not fucking a computer. Or a fucking mobile phone, smartphone, it's bullshit. That's why I hope that my TV don't break anytime soon, because I'm happy with it. I can switch it on and watch something on it. That's what I want, you know. Oh, updating. Fuck off. I'm not waiting for you to update. Fuck, it's a telly. Fuck off. Um, I just think things are, just, things are getting complicated again. You know, I can only imagine if someone didn't know what they was doing. They bought your new, bought your new television set. Obviously, you know... The older generation don't want none of that shit, you know, they don't want a smart TV. But unfortunately you've got to buy, if you want a good TV these days, it comes with that fucking smart shit already on it. No, no, I wouldn't want that, you know, I'll write, if I was going to buy, I'll buy a box for it. You know, a box, you know, I've got a box, I've got an Android box for that anyway, so. You know, if that updates, fine, you know, I'll still watch my TV if I want to. I'll still put a Blu-ray or DVD in so I can watch it. I don't want my fucking TV update and I want it there. I want it, you know, when I want to watch something, it's there. I'll say, sorry, no, I'm updating. Fuck off, you're not updating until I fucking tell you you can update. Um, ah, it's just butter bollocks, you know. It's a television set. Um, you know, what, what do you think? I mean, are you one that, you know, think technology, wow, that's brilliant, smart, smart TV, yeah, yeah, I can browse the internet on my telly. I can use all these apps, yeah, fantastic, I can go watch YouTube, yeah, okay, fair enough, but I can do that on my computer anyway, I can watch YouTube on my computer, it's, that's what, that's what I um, use the internet for, is, well, that's what I use my computer also for, is the internet, all sorts of things, if I want to go on the internet, I use my computer, okay, I can connect a tel computer into my telly if I want to, if I want to watch it on my telly. Um, yeah, but, nah, nah, I'm not, well, I'm fucking waiting for your telly to update, fuck off, I want to watch my telly, I want to watch it now, um, I think, 
even tellies don't even last. I've heard a lot of stories that TVs don't even last these days. Um, even, as I said, the telly downstairs. Sometimes it has a few problems, like the, sometimes the audio will not work until you fucking reset the fucking thing. I might turn it, take the plug out and put it back in. Or it might not switch on for some reason. Uh, it's just silly things like that. It's just what is the fucking point? You're supposed to improve um, technology, not go fucking backwards by fucking not coming on properly. Oh, that fucking even with phones does the same thing. Oh, it might be a problem. Oh, you got to reset your fucking phone, or you got to reset this. You got to reset that. No, what's happened? We just switch it on and it comes on. You know, it's there for you to watch. None of this fucking, all this other shit we've got to wait for it to update. Ugh. It's absolute bollocks. You know, I am a fan of new technology, of course I am. I like, you know, I like to see new things come, you know. But I'm also a fan of old technology as well, so. But tellies, it's just not necessary to have all this bollocks on there. You just want to watch the fucking thing. Um, but yeah, I remember the manual tune <laughs> back in the days. Um, but even my teddy there, it's about 10 years old, as I say, coming up with 10 years old, it's still got an analog tuner in it. So if I wanted to put an old video recorder into it via or an old computer, what uses the aerial leads, I've got that option. But you know, you wouldn't need it because you've got SCAR and all that. So if I really wanted to go really retro and it's only got an aerial lead. Like an old computer or something like a very old game console from the 70s perhaps I've got that option because um, new TVs obviously don't have analog tuners anymore just all digital um, when I say analog I mean the, the old radio wave things that's the, to the digital waves you know what I'm fucking talking about you had it you live back in the day like me you know what exactly what I'm talking about um, yeah, but is it necessary to have all this smart shit on the telly? Got smartphones? Why the fuck you want a smart telly? Oh yeah, but you can browse all these apps. I don't fucking want to browse all these apps because I've got a little box down there I can do that with. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.